you will not find a higher level of commitment anywhere else in the country. These young men are committed to the game. They, they play the game because they love the sport. They love playing it. And they're using the game to f fulfill that fire inside of them that gives them that competitive edge. If you love camaraderie and you know hard work, then this would be the place for you because it's not an easy task, but it's still a fun one. Being in college is an uh, important time in any person's life, and uh, it's important to uh, find a family here at college. And uh, if you're planning on coming to UT, it's a great, or thinking about it, it's a great place to uh, find your family here on the rugby team because uh, there are a lot of people with uh, some great goals, and uh, everyone's striving for, uh, or striving to be the best person they can be. It really has meant everything and kind of shaped my whole college career, who I met, who I hung out with, and, you know, gave me more of a purpose of just, you know, waking up and going to school, making decent grades just to get by. I mean, like with football and some other sports, it seems like everything was so tense and uptight before games and everything, but uh, one thing I like about with us, we, uh, we all keep it fun and um, not that it's like too serious, we know how to be serious when when the time comes for it, but uh, we're all as a group of friends hanging out and playing a sport that we all like. So, the unique thing about rugby is it is a sport where the athlete chooses to play, and in most instances, they're paying their own way to play. And they're not they're not playing in front of thousands of fans in big stadiums. They're playing because they love the game and they love the men that they're playing around, and they love the sport. I don't know of any other sport, any other activity where you can play it around the world and you're virtually accepted no matter if I were to go to New Zealand or Australia or anywhere else in the U.S. for the matter of fact that I've done the past couple summers. It's a, it's a common bond and a common brotherhood that everyone shares and there's opportunities to play everywhere, there's opportunities to work everywhere and everyone, like the way everyone interacts is different from any other like activity or sport that I've been in. It's a great competitive atmosphere and the brotherhood of the team is just great and it's always something new and fun, even in practice, so it's always fun to win also. I just want to say to the team how extremely proud I am as a captain, how we've come together in the past six to eight months and persevered through a lot of the obstacles that we've faced. We have to remember that when freshmen come on campus, this is the first time many of them have been away from home. And some, some of them have to learn time management. And, and we like to think we play a role in that. We help them uh, with their academic studies when they first get here to make sure they keep their priorities. We, we understand that our priorities here are family school rugby, and guys will hear that hundreds of times over the course of their academic career. Their first priority has got to be to their faith in their family. And then we focus on academics, and then we play a lot of rugby. Uh, being a part of playing at the University of Tennessee Rugby just helped me all through college. Uh, coming in freshman year, everyone was really accepting. I mean, the, the goals were definitely laid out there. That, we're, we're a club that wants to win, but inside of that, it's family school rugby are our main values, and the club never fails to accentuate those values each and every day. I, I think a couple of principles in rugby that really boil down to my philosophy, uh, both coaching and, and in life, is commitment and integrity. I think it's very important that we be committed to whatever we're doing, because if you're not going to be committed to something, then you're probably going to fail. Uh, so you have, to be, you have to have a commitment to it, and you have, you have to wear that commitment proudly. It's a big commitment to be on the team uh, as a freshman coming from high school where you just would go after school for an hour or so. It was a big different practice almost every day, expected to be conditioning outside of it. So it was a, a huge commitment for me, and learning to keep that commitment has been great for me. Uh, it's a life skill I appreciate. In, you can apply it to school work and your work, it just uh, being able to stick with the commitment that you've made. Rugby has really pulled a lot of dedication out from me that I didn't think that I had before. It's demanded a lot of time from me, a lot of time that I didn't think that I was willing to give at first. And as you kind of get support from your teammates and support from other uh, groups surrounding rugby, you really, really truly love it and it makes you want to come out for things, for practice and for games and be uh, much more dedicated than I would have uh, things like community service we do and things of that nature that just really pulls your time out and some things that I didn't think I would be able to do before but it's really um, made me a better person being able to dedicate my things to other than school and myself. 
Uh, the second thing, I guess, is integrity. And, you know, do the right thing. Yeah, even when no one's looking, do the right thing. And on, on the rugby field, there's 30, there's 30 players and one referee. It's very easy to get away with doing the wrong thing, but we don't do that here at the University of Tennessee. We do the right thing, even when no one's looking. And that carries off the field for me. Um, I use that every day in my life. Um, and I hope the players do, well, do as well. And I know they do, because I see it. I'd say UT rugby values honor above everything else. We, very honorable program like our coach says every time we go out you know win with honor don't you know we play some teams that you know try and make us you know do things we shouldn't but we try our best to stay the most honorable and the thing with rugby is we get a chance to practice those principles by by making decisions under pressure i mean decision making under pressure is a cornerstone for rugby because you've got the, the entire other team coming after you, and you have to choose what to do with the ball. And if you fail, your team fails, because it's one fail, all fail. And so you have to make good choices under the most extreme conditions. And th we do that the rest of our lives. Rugby's definitely helped my maturity in terms of actually having to make sure I come to everything and I make sure that I'm fully a part of the team. There's no cutting corners. There's no cutting corners in practice you know, conditioning, things like that. You have to be at everything. It's six o'clock practice, you know, Wednesday morning isn't fun, but you learn through the years that if you don't go, other people don't go. So it comes down to really just sticking to what you're supposed to do. Being here at UT, I'd say rugby has served me a lot by being a lot more dedicated. Uh, I have to succeed in the classroom, being here first in education, and rugby helps me motivate myself to be just as good as I can in the classroom as well commitment and hard work. I mean, you're out there for 80 minutes. I don't know. Football, you play 15 minutes, you sprint, you're done, you get to rest for 35 minutes. Rugby's not like that, you know. I mean, I like to say it's like soccer, except we actually hit people, you know. And I mean, getting out there, and I mean, there's going to be times in that game where you're just like, I don't know if I can go any further. But you look around, you see the guys that are doing it, and everybody kind of just like, kind of pushes you forward, you know. And it really gives you a chance to be a leader. You know, I mean, you don't have to be, I mean, obviously I'm not the biggest guy. I mean, most of the guys in my position weigh 30, 40 pounds, you know, but a bit more than me. But, you know, you get a chance to go out there and you just focus on the things that you do well and you try to have that motor running all the time, you know, and people kind of draw to that, get everybody excited and, you know, support everybody. My major is history and playing rugby has definitely helped me because I wasn't the best student coming in, but there's a lot of good students on the team. And especially living with some of the guys, seeing how they study it and, and things like that has really helped me uh, to, to learn really how to be a better student. Well, I think the sport of rugby is a wonderful teaching tool for personal responsibility. I had to learn it early on when I played rugby. Uh, we had, I had to balance my time. Uh, so I, and it was up to me to do that. And there's no greater sport to do that than rugby because when you have the ball in your hands in rugby, you have 15 guys chasing you. And there's nothing between you and them except a little air. And so you have to be prepared in what you're going to do. And if you don't play the ball well, no one else on your team can play it. So it, you learn that personal responsibility early on, and then it, it, it flows outside the lines. A couple of traits that I've developed since I've been at UT uh, have definitely been my leadership and also my time management skills. That's for being an officer the last couple of years and also making sure my priorities are straight with family, school, and rugby. Double majoring and playing a sport in college is extremely difficult, no matter what you're majoring in and what you're playing. And you basically separate that in two different difficulties. The difficulties of rugby and how am I going to get better and how am I going to move up the depth chart and how am I going to be the best that I can be. And the difficulties of managing the time to make sure that you're laying out your class schedule and what you need to do so you can succeed in both academics and sports. I'm studying kinesiology here and it's a pretty tough major and rugby just helps to relieve that stress that comes along with it and being able to play and win games just keep school interesting because you always have something to look forward to even if you do bad on a test. I think rugby has really developed confidence more in me because to play the game you know you gotta have a little bit of confidence and swagger I guess you'd say when you step out on the field because you know without it there's no way you'll be able to succeed.